Hello all, Eddie Gungs here, back to talk about some portrait lenses. These are uh, portrait lenses with a cemented pair of glass behind the aperture. This is a Kodak 405 portrait lens. This is a Spencer Portland 18 inch f5.6 portrait lens. And in the magic box we have a beautiful Imagon 300 millimeter lens. This box has got all kinds of nice goodies in there we'll talk about. It has the original Rodenstock lens cap. Ooh. A nice compound shutter as well as all the goodies that come with the lens in the box. We have a diffuser disc, a strainer style disc, and if you look that has holes, and these holes can be opened and closed. Can we see this? Alright, this is a nine and a half to eleven and a half this is a seven, seven to nine and a half. And this is a 5.8 to seven and a half. Again, these control the amount of soft focus effect in the lens. You can see it opens and closes there. We also have a nice filter. An original Rodenstock 2X filter needs a little bit of a clean and then we have a hood. Here is the lens. As you can see there's a nice cap for the back. Put that back in the box. Here's the other cap here. Ooh. Here's the glass in the rear. It's a very nice shape the aperture. You can see it says Rodenstock, a big word I'm not going to try to say, Imagon 5.8 300mm. It's got a flange on the back and it's in a beautiful compound shutter that my good friend Frank Marshman improved the speed and accuracy on. Now you can see compound shutter the T opens up. There is an aperture in here, and you can of course use this as a regular lens with an aperture, or as designed by the manufacturer, you could use these discs. These discs just pop right on the front here, like so. And as I stated before, if you open and close this it changes the amount of diffusion that you get. There you go. You can see this here. Uh, people have been using this setup for many years for shooting product photography. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, it's a very nice lens. has a very nice glow. The out of focus areas are excellent. Uh, it's one of the lenses that's overlooked when people search for soft focus lenses. Uh, they're excellent in quality, and many of them, most of them, except for the most, except for the largest size, comes in some kind of a shutter. I believe the 360 millimeter also is squeezed in a shutter, but I'll have to check on that. I know for sure that the 300 does because here it is. Now let me take a minute here and to change the subject ever so slightly and talk about a compound shutter. Compound shutters are one of the best shutters made in my opinion. They work very well, they last a long time, and they're fairly accurate. They're very easy to work, work on. If you ever need any shutter repair, Frank Marshman at Camera Wiz Camera Repair is the guy. He has them. He's a magic, he's a magic repair man. So, the most important thing about a compound shutter, and most people end up breaking the shutter, is... On this function here, it says T. Okay, I'm going to zoom in real quick here, see if we can get that. These settings here. 
There's T, B, and M. Okay. When the lens is set into T mode, that's time, you hit this button, the shutter release button, it opens and it closes. If you pull on the cocking lever while it's in T or B mode, it will not move. If you force that button, you will break something on inside of the shutter. Many, many, many compound shutters were broke this way. So please, if it doesn't work, don't force it. If you put it in M, it's very easy to cock. And there it is. And we'll have a little bit of... Perfect. The shutter dial indicator here to adjust your shutter speed. Here's, let's see, where is the... That looks like a tenth. Alright, there's a tenth there. Cock it here, hit the button, no problem. So, as I say, it's very important. Oh, I think it was in the way. Let's try that again. Here we go. Excellent. It's very, very important that when it is in B or T, you do not force the lever. Okay? So there it is. This concludes my video on... The Imagon Portrait Lenses, I hope you enjoyed today's talk about portrait lenses, and I hope to see you guys again. This is Eddie Gunks, saying thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.